All righty, we are back. I think this is episode 15. I need to start writing this down. I need to start writing this down. Let's get started. Two shout outs today. I'm gonna cut it down so we can talk more about the game. First one is Jeff Kakashi. I'll tell you why I can't remember your name. It's because you don't have a unique icon. It's like one of the default YouTube icons and a lot of times I remember people based on their icons, or if they just have a crazy name. The other shout-out is for Lord Momo, who is not a YouTube user, but somebody's cat. Somebody wanted their cat to get a shout-out, so there you go. The cat Lord Momo gets a shout-out. Is the cat a viewer? Does it need help with State of Decay 2? Who knows? Anyway, so here's what I had in my mind. I guess I'll talk about the videos I'm working on real quick. Chemistry is probably the next video. I, I, I should probably do something else, but honestly, I'm in the mood to do the chemistry videos, so I'm collecting more footage on that, and that's the only video I want to talk about for now. But what about strategy? That's what my channel is primarily about. And so I've been playing other survival-based games because playing multiple games of the same genre can give you different perspectives even if the mechanics don't transfer over and kind of like playing multiple shooter games can give you an appreciation for the main shooter you play and it just hit me that one of the things we're doing is we are wasting our resources can you guess which one it is is it food is it medicine is it ammo is it materials is it fuel well, in my mind, the resource that we're wasting is fuel. It's just sitting there capped out. We're not using it. It's a waste to use your resources senselessly, but it's also a waste to not use your resources. If they're not actually doing anything for you, then they're not getting any value. And one of the big problems we have right now is repairs. We're really getting hammered on materials, so I have come up with a plan to turn this around. So first, let's go ahead and outfit this character. And here is the plan. Let me see what my influence is. We got 1,200 influence. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna claim one of these power relays. Where the heck is a power relay? Where are you, power relay? Power relay... Nope, that's a flooded factory. Where's, like, the wind farm or something? Wow. When I'm looking for it, I can't find it. Where did you go? That's the same building we just... Ins here we go. So here's... Let's see if we can find one that's better. Power relays. Power up. Oh, this one looks much nicer. Power substation. So we need 2,000 influence, so we need 800 more. We'll probably shut down one of our outposts, because we could upgrade. Let's see what the upgrade cost is on this mode. Oh, that's not the right thing. Here it is. So that would cost us 12 materials which is not too bad. And we have a medicine outpost and a food outpost. Let's check our food losses. We're plus one, so I think instead we're just gonna drop that because food we just want to stabilize on. We're not really spending food, we're just having the daily maintenance. So we're gonna drop this once we have the resources. And what that's gonna do is free up this slot here. We're gonna take down the solar array and we're gonna replace it with a forge. So that'll give us an ongoing Fuel cost, because look at that, 24 fuel, zero fuel loss, you know, not gaining, not losing. We're not doing anything with it. We've got more than enough fuel. We need to make fuel work for us and materials work for us. With the forge, we're going to be able to convert materials into parts at an efficient rate. So that's what we're going to go out and do. So we need to go out and make some influence. Step one is to gear up correctly. This weapon is really beat up, so we're probably going to use it only for killing ferals. Maybe we could strip some, strip some of these weapons that I don't intend to use, like police baton. Gaff hook. I'm pretty sure we bought one of these specifically to strip. We'll 
We need a ton of parts. We need like a constant flow of parts. Let's just salvage this because it's damaged. What is this? 44? We're not going to use this. I don't even think we have the ammunition type for it. Or we maybe it's worth something. Maybe we should sell it. Get us closer to that... What is this? A handmade suppressor? Could be useful on a bolt-action weapon. But they really bang the weapons up and that's not really worth it. Grab some ammo. And it's time to go out. It is the night shift. This character hasn't been out for a while. Even though it is my strongest character. And also the leader. First thing we're gonna do is take a look around. See if the zombies are amassing. It's a horde. Doesn't sound like there's like a juggernaut in it though. The reason we need to do this, though, is because we're relying so heavily on just finding parts. And that just hasn't been really... I mean, it hasn't been... Wait, we need that. We need fuel. That hasn't been working terribly poorly. It's it's mediocre. I would consider it mediocre. Like, just finding materials and par parts, rather. It's been mediocre. It hasn't been amazing. Need a tank of fuel. And honestly, moving the outposts around, that's really not a big deal. I mean, you, you can go from, like, 80 influence and suddenly have, like, 900 in one huge battle. So I think, honestly, influence is just one of the most liquid type of resources. It could just take so many forms. Look at all these bloaters. Three bloaters. So first we'll visit our allies over here, see what they want this gun for. The reason we're selling this gun is because it has exotic ammunition. It's got the 44 caliber rounds, and that requires the exotic ammunition press. I can't remember the name of it. And we're probably not going to find that. And I tend to not like those medium strength weapons anyways. I, and what I mean by that is... The weakest weapons in the game, like a target Mark III, it will kill everything in one hit with a headshot, except a Juggernaut. So it, it doesn't... All that matters is if you have the highest damage or the lowest damage, really. 94, we'll take it. Decent deal. We have any quests? Yes, we do. Someone asked if driving slowly would help with the issue with enemy pop-ins, and I believe it will help, because if you don't drive at full speed, you will give the game more time to load the enemies in. So I do think that not driving at the maximum speed would definitely be a... Especially on the roads, which is where you're most likely to accidentally run something over that you don't want. Let's see what these guys have for sale while we're here. Hey, good to see you again. Here's the guys that lost one of their community members in the last battle. The P226 Elite. Another weapon that uses the exotic munitions that we're not going to find. I don't think I've ever seen that gun before, either. I know I haven't collected every single gun in my main playthrough. So I don't know if those are new or if it's just the fact that we're seeing rarer guns in general. And that one had just evaded me. Like the fake AK-47. I've never seen that one either. 
Where's this guy at? Okay, he's just right along the main road. Trying to... Oh, there's a jug. And we got enemies spawning in. This guy's far enough away that the jugs should not pursue us here. See if we can get one of these guys to help us out. Nope, I can't climb over that. Where's the door at? Here's a good opportunity to kill them as they fall. Can't do it. Got a stray. Injury from a random swipe, always annoying. This was an awkward kind of area to fight in, though. So I guess it's not too surprising. What does he want to do? They want to kill somebody. How about no? Well, that sucks. Okay, bye. So basically, anywhere that has material resources, we want to be there. And that's because if they got material resources, then we can put it in the forge and we can make some cash on it. Or make some parts on it, rather. I'm gonna try to get more stealth kills than usual just to get our part expenses down and also level up our wits a little bit. This area looks like it could definitely have a rucksack because we got these big containers here. Hey, I suppose it could be worse. Is it becoming day or is it becoming darker? I think it should become becoming darker. Wonderful. There we go. That is the juggernaut. Wow. A piece of crap was in that big toolbox. We could use the sniper support to kill that juggernaut. Earn a quick 50... Not super quick, but we could earn 50 influence on it. Oh, there's two juggernauts there. Maybe that's actually worth it. Step one is to kill some of these stragglers so that the sniper has fewer targets to shoot at. We want to get him to concentrate his fire on those juggernauts. We might also... I mean, we have a ton of play... How much medicine do we have? We have 18 medicine. Maybe we should make a... Oh, where's this guy going? Okay, let's go for it. Sniper support. Turn it on. Sniper on the lookout. Hopefully he, we have enough time to actually tear through all of those small zombies first. They're running out of little guys. Let me kill this guy real quick. Or not.
Who's gonna fall? Oh, wow. Wasn't enough. Too many little zombies to distract them. Maybe we should have burnt. Well, we didn't have any incendiaries. Only 50 influence lost, though. Not, not honestly a big deal. Also a good experiment. We got to see firsthand just, you know, how long is it going to shoot. What you can expect from the power. So, 50 influence to... Run a little test, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Let's go here. And I think what we're gonna do is sell... ...one of our plague cures out. One of our bulk- we're gonna make a bulk plague cure and sell it, rather. Although, let me double check the building costs. I'm not sure if they, like, jacked up the building costs. Because we do have a ton of those plague samples, and they're not working for us right now. They're just kind of piling up. Need to make sure we're using our stuff. Yeah. I hate when my outposts have locked doors. Okay. Hello, looks like it's the same. Good. Oh, we got an achievement. Hound of Flesh. Crafted a case of bulk plague here in one of the higher difficulties. Sure, why not? Let's sell these crappy seven slot backpacks. Actually, let's see if there's anything else we can sell. Stuff we want to hang on to. I guess it's becoming daytime. I don't remember us surviving the night that long. Hmm. That's annoying. Normally I want to try to destroy some... ...plague hearts in the morning, but... ...we still could. I need to double check my inventory. Enclaves have new items for trade. And if we destroy those plague hearts, that will actually give us a ton of... Resources. This this defense mission will probably give us a ton as well. What are they selling? The elite. We got a sighted scar and that M4. Sell these off. Okay, we need two hundred more. Let's see if all of our building features are active. They are. Let's head back to base and defend. Actually, before we actually get to base, let's see what these guys are selling. Because if they got a repair kit, you know, we'll, we'll buy the repair kit, even though we're trying to save up influence. Because like I said, if we get a... I mean, it's going to be a normal zombie siege, but the past few zombie sieges... What if I can hit this guy? <laughs> nope, he got away. You notice that, though? They dodge out of the way of vehicles, but they don't seem to dodge out of the way of your gunfire anymore. It's just something I've noticed. Looks like that one screamer was the straw that broke the camel's back on the car. Bringing it to its next stage of damage. Hello there. They're still not selling me any... Repair kits. I'm not liking that. Not liking that at all. Whatever, they can deal with that. Get back home. We still got those three bloaters around. They did not despawn. Let's drive slowly around these bloaters. A screamer right there. This will be also be an opportunity to let this character regenerate from that random injury. I hope everyone's ready for a long fight. Let's use is this guy a hero? I think all our guys are heroes now. This guy has a skill. 
Gunslinging. Wonder how I missed that. I'll tell you, I could have done a lot worse than you guys. Let's bring it out, bring it out, bring out the enemies, bring out the hordes, bring out the money. The base is under attack! Damn zombies! Damn zombies! I'm pretty sure we're not using one of the BFGs. Yep. So let's just equip her and swap to one of the other characters. He also is using the BFG. Let's switch to you. This can't go on much longer. You're not invited. What if I stomp him to death? Oh, two stomps? That wasn't too bad. Wow. They hardly sent anything. We didn't even get, like, a single horde kill. Hmm. 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 Well, let's see what we can do to the play guards. Like, what kind of damage can we do? We've got the hand grenades. That's good for a kill. We've got three bloater cloud grenades. Let's do an experiment with the bloater cloud grenades. Let's make a few extra. Oops. Requires fuel and some parts. What's our parts at? 94. Let's do it for the sake of science. Take some of these. So last time, two bloater clouds and two fuel bombs did the trick. Let's bring the hand grenades just in case. So this time, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do bloater clouds and fuel bombs. And then, wait, where's my bloater clouds at? And then we're going to try Bloater Clouds with Firecrackers. Someone said that Firecrackers could also ignite them. Let's also bring the Fuel Bombs, just in case it doesn't work. Instant healing in case something goes really wrong. The strong painkillers. We got... Let's bring both of ours. There's no harm in bringing both scent blocks. And... Oh, we need ammunition. I, I'm like, there's something I'm missing. I can feel it. Prepper's 1022. Could use that. Let's remove the silencer, though, because that'll damage it too much. Actually, we don't. That thing comes with 50 ammunition in its magazine, so we don't even need to do that. All right, first, let's go and see. We're going to target this one. Probably need to refuel. Is anyone out there? Move this up to the beat up one. And let's refuel the car. I think I hear a jug. Go ahead and kill that bloater. One thing that's nice about this weapon is it is very close to pinpoint accurate, if not exactly pin. I think we have a jug attacking the base. In other words, an opportunity for a hundred influence. 
Where's that jug at? Oh, we got two jugs. How do they not hear this? Do How do they not hear this? Like, hey. Over here, you shambling assholes. Are you joking? <sighs> Use the sniper coverage just to make sure there's no. Uh, we need to make sure they don't see our vehicles. Is there a gate on this side? Yes, there is. Well, let's get their attention. You're not invited. These guys don't care. They're like, I invite myself! Oh, their bodies are piling up and... These are acting as a physical obstruction. Uh, oh my god. I didn't even get a chance to kill him. I'm not even gonna get a chance to kill this guy either. Oh! No! They killed him too efficiently! Well... Well, not quite. We still got samples. Looking for the silver lining. Giant, any belly button. <laughs> Anyways. Let's put the samples back in. We gotta get serious! It's time to get serious! Okay, so the play guards are there and over here. I want to go for these two just because I don't want to waste my... What do you call it? My scent block on just one. What is this guy's shooting skill? He's got sharp shooting. Not going to be helpful against ferals, but... Are you really still waiting for the government to save you? Any bureaucrats who survived are on an island somewhere waiting for a fix to all this. I like Twain, I think he's funny. Oh man, let's drive through it carefully so we don't get stuck. So, the last episode I did, Edward's mission, I was originally going to call it Casualties of War, but I was worried it would sound too clickbaity and people would be like, Oh, 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 you, you made it sound like one of your guys died. But my line of thinking was that Casualties of War, you know, has this kind of like wartime sounding reference, and they were the surviving soldiers, and they did have this whole, like, campaign going on to destroy the zombies, so... I thought it would have been an appropriate name. In all directions. Better be careful. But first we'll try the bloater bomb combo with the fuel. I never do get used to the smell. But first we bloat it up. And we bomb it up. So that feral immediately heard it. So that was a clean, very clean. Let me create some distance between us and those ferals. Okay. He roared so many times that I actually thought it was a trio of ferals. Let's quickly take a look at the loot, just to solve our curiosity. AR-15. Okay, that's enough curiosity. We don't want to waste our scent block. Mark the next target. Put this in the back. 
Let's... I believe that was the location of the plague art, so that we don't lose track of our loot. We're in this downtown industrial zone. I'm gonna run this guy over. I guess I'll run all three of them over. So now we're gonna try Bloater Cloud with a Firecracker. Gotta keep my eyes open. Oh man, this is nice and clean. I was hoping I could get on top of that. Can't get on any of these. What? Okay, here we go. Okay, that was one. Okay. I think, comment down below if you just learned something. Comment down below if you just learned something. This was, I'm not going to take the credit for this though, this was a suggestion from the community. But now you can see it in action. Civilian Vector, we'll take that. What's our influence at? We have a ton of influence. How much influence do we have? A ton of influence. In fact, isn't there a power thingy here? I think that means we're gonna abandon this. I remember the two. It's the this one and this one, so it's it's all good. It's like another feral heard it. Is he coming after us? Couldn't tell in that time frame. Still have the scent block going. Need to stake a claim on this place. Pronto. Usually it's right here, yep. We're making it through. Two fuel per day, we can pay that. The outpost is up and running. I, I really... I don't remember who it was that... I think it was Shane. I think it was Shane who said it. That we should have tried this. It's the same issue with, Je with uh, Jeff Kakashi. It's uh, a pl uh, someone who doesn't have an icon, a custom icon, so... It's kind of hard to remember them. And I'm not saying that people need to have a custom icon if they don't want, but it does have a mimetic effect. Like, when you have a custom icon, it just makes people easier to remember. Well, that means we can remove this. Served us well, but it's time to get the forge up and running. We just repelled a zombie siege, so it's not a big deal that we're in the red. When you repel a zombie siege, there is like a limited amount of time where they can't attack. Let's go de-escalate to standard combat. Want to have our flashbangs in case... Where's a feral at? Where's our flashbangs at? Oh, I think our other character still has them. In that case, let's hang on to a fuel bomb. Give you a smoke grenade, too. I haven't really played around with them much. Get a second melee weapon out. But we don't want to carry too much because... We are going to start bringing stuff back. Is this a guy with stealth? Or not? Yes, he has stealth and striking. Oh, this guy's carrying the wrong weapons. Also, take note that because this is like one of those utility areas, they're gonna deal with us. We were able to uh, we were able to get better parts, like the the electronic scraps and whatnot. This thing's a good weapon, right there. Let's use that. Let's see where that infestation still populating that basic area. Like I said, they want to be the final boss.
Which could be a tremendously bad idea, but... Every now and then you have to try a tremendously bad idea. And we're running out of play guards to kill. We might actually be able to kill that third one today. Get the samples, take the AR, fuel bombs, halogen tool, scrap it for parts. Let's quickly look in some of these containers. We might find a rucksack of materials. No way I can fit that. Chemicals, we're pretty good on chemicals. We can... where they lay. Sniper support is back online. Okay on that as well. Really, I'm just looking for either something really spectacular or materials. If it's not those, it'll get left behind. Only 12 materials, we'll leave it behind. I'm in a hurry. I am in a hurry. Mark the other Plague Heart. Got a bloater who joined us. I'm thinking about making a video on what I think State of Decay 2 needs now, now that we got the increased difficulty. I don't think they need to increase the difficulty of the game vertically anymore, and by that I mean I don't think they need to increase the density of the zombies. I don't think they need to do more damage. I don't think they need to add more of the existing freaks. I think they need a horizontal type of difficulty where new mechanics, new types of things to deal with, just like totally new stuff. I think that's what the game needs now. Maybe that means it's State of Decay 3 time. Maybe a bigger, wider idea, but... What I really want to see is something that shakes the game up periodically. Like, one of the games I really like is called Don't Starve. It's a very difficult survival game. And it has seasons. And the conditions... Where's that feral at? I'm not getting out of the car just yet. Is he chasing me? No, he would have caught me by now. Anyway, so in Don't Starve, they have different seasons. And each season has its own problems. Like, in spring, it rains a ton and just makes your character miserable from constantly being wet. In summer, it's super dry and everything is just constantly catching fire and you can have, like, heat stroke. In autumn, the game kind of takes it easy on you. It's like, it, it lets up a bit and shows some mercy. It's like a time of growth. But at the same time, like a... A pretty nasty boss spawns in the... in autumn. And then in winter, it's very hard to eat because all the plant-based food stops growing. You, have to, you can't really live off the land as effectively. And also, there is a boss in the winter as well. But the point is that the game changes and your strategies have to rotate with the game. And I think that would be pretty neat in State of Decay, too, because one, it would change the visual look of the map. You know, don't you get tired of looking at the same map all the time? What if it just looked a little bit different every 30 days or so? If each, let's say, 30 days is a season? I think that would be pretty neat. But either way, no matter what they do, they need to add some kinds of, like, new mechanics for us to deal with. Where's our vehicle at? Let's head back to base. And I basically, maybe I'll make a video about that. Just things that I think State of Decay 2 needs in order to... ...take things to the next level. Because I think State of Decay 2 is mostly an upgrade over State of Decay 1. I do think there's things I still like about State of Decay 1. Uh, some examples would be the story was a lot stronger, which is definitely saying something because State of Decay 1 had a pretty flimsy story to begin with. But it's just the fact that State of Decay 1 had consistent characters. When you play the campaign, you got Marcus, you got Lily Ritter, you've got Ed, and I think the chick's name is Maya? Can't remember her quite as well. She was a... 
army girl. You had like Gunther Adams, the kind of the hard edge guy of the team and whatnot. But it's just that even though those characters didn't make that much of a difference, it's just the fact that they were constantly present. And over time, they kind of grow on you. And even when you play the free mode, the sandbox mode, which was Stave K1 Breakdown, you could still get heroic characters, and they could be those. You could get Marcus, for example. You could get Ed. So you could still have them and their personality in the game with you, and I think that's one of the things that's missing in State of Decay 2. Can we put the food in? Yes. Can we put the materials in? Not yet. Transfer materials out. I think I want to shoot this guy just because I feel like shooting him. We could definitely put these meds in now. That knocks some bits loose. Parts and fuel, those can stay inside. All right, so now we have, we have a better idea of how much damage those play guards can take. Let's go destroy the last one. Well, the last one on this side of the map. Let's switch characters and let someone else do it, just because I'm probably going to use a scent block just to be safe. I, I don't see... I mean, we have so much plague samples, I don't see why we wouldn't want to play it safe. Let's use... King Vulture is pretty beat up. Want something with a bit more punch. Oh, there you go, Spec Ops. Who are we sending out? out Send the leader out. Wait, the leader has a BFG and I'm too lazy to keep switching. You have a BFG. You have- oh my god. Gregory, you're gonna do it. Took care of that. Hmm. Uh -huh. Look, Gregory, I don't care about your personal mission. We're here to do my personal mission. Sword play, gunslinging. Let's go with Preppers ten twenty two. Super. Beat up. When did it get so beat up? When did that happen? I do not remember. Use the fake AK. Why not? Uses 22 rounds. Yep. So let's load up. Two bloater clouds. We'll use the distractions. And let's bring a hand grenade just in case. Scent block. Remember when you could get fired just for having a little ink? Now who gives a shit? Okay. I think we're good. What's the status on construction? Five minutes to go. What's that? We're back in the highest tier of morale. Obviously infestations are weighing on people's minds quite a bit. So when I'm thinking about that final area, I'm probably going to do a double pass. It'll be an infestation sweep, and then we'll regroup, and we'll do a uh, play card sweep. I think that would be probably the smartest way to do it. Mark the heart. Wow. It's definitely a trio of ferals. Let's go ahead and call in sniper support. Plague's Somebody watch over me. Somebody with a really big gun. I'm on it, amigo. Yeah. 
So what we're going to do is throw the, the distraction in first. Where's the heart at? Here it is. Okay, distraction goes in first. This one survives slightly, so let's go ahead and get a frag in there. Maybe I threw him too fast. Maybe this one's just super strong. Unfortunately, due to the doorway, we weren't able to really tell what was going on there. Maybe someone will have some theories in there. SP5K custom. Pipe bombs, backpack. Samples. French tool salvages for a lot. I never doubted that plan for a second. Alright, we just got another rebar blade. At this rate, I won't need to actually manufacture them manually out of the out of the forge, because that's the primary way you get the rebar blade. You actually build it in the forge. Let's see, is this a material? It's a, no, potential ammo. Looks like the zombies must be busy eating somebody Not saying no to ammo. Doesn't look too promising, though. Maybe that suitcase, but... These little crates are like like baby stuff. We need more of these. Hey, folks. That was a Red Talon commercial. Fertilizers and fillers. I'm guessing that is instructions on how to make homemade bombs. I believe the Unabomber used a truckload, a literal truckload of fertilizer for his demolition. Precursor chemicals, fuel, and fillers. Yeah, I believe this is field IED. Yes, improvised explosive device, recognition identification guide for deployed assets. That's exactly what that is. Whatever. Well, that's that. No ammo, Ruck. I was hoping for an ammo, Ruck. Back to base. What do all these people want? What are all these quests? Cry for help. Wandering trader. I'm not gonna get like so the, the, one of these guys is gonna be like a traitor. He's gonna be like, yeah, I'm actually gonna rob you. We don't need them. We don't need them. Even if they got good stuff, we're too close to succeeding to have some kind of shenanigans go on. We got those trio of ferals who did not pursue us in range of the sniper support, so they get to chill there. But they're too far away from the base to matter. Sounds like somebody's in trouble. Three seconds left. There we go, the forge is done. Nothing important to build. So here we go, convert materials to parts. So, it's twice as inefficient. So normally it would take eight materials to get 240 parts, but in this difficulty it takes double. Increasing the difficulty quite a bit. So here's the examples of stuff you can build. Rebar club, transmission mace, very... Oh, well, they've also nearly doubled the requirements to build them as well. I think they normally took 100 parts to build. 
but not in this case. So I guess we're going to start feeding it in. The, like, that's a ton of parts, but we're not really going to be using parts for much else. Unfortunately, the noise generated puts us right at a serious attack risk. Which means if a zombie siege does occur, it's going to be a, a, a greater siege. So the way to do this would definitely be to not use it until you get a regular siege. So, how much do we got? 15 minutes left. These guys need our help. They... we have to help them because they're giving us one of the better benefits. Hang in there, everyone. I'm gonna get through this. Let's send my leader to handle that. Even though she has the BFG. Internally, I'm debating, like, how valuable it is to... Let me use the... This here. All of these weapons are so, so beat up. Need to start repairing some of them. I'm sure all of our abilities are active. This is going to be a loud fight regardless, so I'm not concerned with making noise this time around. So let's... What do we have the most ammo of right now? We have the most 45 caliber ammo, so that's what we're going to use. Does this have a fire selector? No, it's semi-automatic exclusively. Going out with the strong painkillers. Are we missing anything? I don't think we are. We double, let me look one more time. Ammo, two weapons, healing items, double flashbangs. Okay. What am I going to call this episode? Hmm. We're Remnants freaking the house. Thanks. This is kind of urgent, okay? We got daylight so I can safely take shortcuts. Do we have sniper support in one minute? In the event it gets nasty. I might use it just to be safe, because these missions can be a bit hectic. I think I wanted to get ran over. He was rushing to the vehicle. Big old rocky area. Must have been a rock slide or something. So you see how it's like kind of partially flooded like this? I imagine that if it were like a seasonal thing, that in the spring it would be like really rainy, basically. Those must be the two guys we couldn't kill and that the land would be like partially flooded all the time. And maybe they could add a new kind of zombie that's like a swamp zombie or something like that. And he's kind of like an alligator. He just kind of like lays in the water and attacks you and you walk by. It may be as other conditions where he gets more active, but he would be different from a feral in that it's more that he's waiting for you to come near him rather than the feral coming after you. And maybe the other thing is like he's like diseased. It's like 
in my state, when it rains a lot, we get mosquitoes, and the mosquitoes often carry disease, like we had the Zika virus scare. So maybe he carries different kinds of, not blood plague, but like a new disease condition. I thought I had sharpshooter on this guy. I pushed the wrong button. There we go. Wrong button. Let them do the work. It looks like this won't be too bad. Love how they're just ignoring them. Trying to save parts here. Trying to save parts here. Sword play level four. I definitely just saw plagues on me. Really? Are you guys not going to kill those zombies who are like really obviously in front of us? What if I hide in the back? I don't. They don't even have line of sight with me. Are they still gonna come after me? Okay. Now that they don't have line of sight on me, they actually stop ignoring me, or they start ignoring me rather. Oh, we got a screamer screaming. That's interesting. So it's almost like they're like wolves. So like that screamer screamed. Really? Why don't you die in like two or three hits? So when that guy screamed, that one, it's like he heard it and he kind of screamed in response. How's the hanging? How about we see what we've got? Cool. Sounds good. Materials. Let's buy it. Well, I mean, why not? We can just throw it into the forge. Plus, they're selling them at a discount. We're getting like that 50, the 50 material discount on it. I want to kill that guy just because he's wandering towards us. The spin slash. That ought to shut him up. We're 58 minutes in, so I think that's good enough. I think we're going to return to base. I mean, I think this episode went really well. Now we got the forge. The forge hungers for materials. Pretty much all the we need all the materials now. Just throw it in the forge and that's how we'll get our parts. I am not going to do the final attack on Zombie Town next episode because it's going to be nighttime. I want daytime for it. So, the next episode will be preparations, and depending on our supplies, we'll determine whether or not we launch it on the episode after. Things are going pretty well. Pretty well. I think I should also do a video on just basic tips, like beginner tips, then I might do intermediate tips, and then finally advanced tips. On how to survive the nightmare mode. I guess the question, how hard is nightmare? It's, it's hard. But on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe it's like a 7. Maybe like 6.5 to somewhere, 6.5 to 7, I would say, because I have played harder games, like Don't Starve. I think that's a harder game. 
XCOM 2. That game is insanely hard. Like, I think something like 1% of the player population has beaten the game on the highest difficulty Iron Man mode. But I've certainly played games that are harder, but I don't necessarily think that the full quality of a game is necessarily in its raw difficulty. I think having an artistic level of difficulty is what's important. A difficulty that doesn't feel like really forced. Like, for example, I don't think games like Ninja Gaiden and God of War are very fun on their highest difficulty settings. Even though I've beaten Ninja Gaiden on Master Ninja, I didn't find it particularly enjoyable just because it just meant you just had to play perfectly. I didn't really feel like it was inventive or anything like that. You just had to play perfectly. And when I think of difficulty, I think of like a more interactive, artistic kind of difficulty, where what you do is more of like some kind of interesting adaptation to the mechanics rather than just playing perfectly. So let's get back over to my favorite closing out spot, because we are an hour in. Get in position. There we go. So, what did we do today? We made the swap. We switched bases, got the crazy fuel facility, swapped out the solar generator for a forge. The forge hungers. It needs tons of resources. 16 seems a bit insane. I think maybe 12. Maybe they should have compromised in the middle. Maybe a 50% markup instead of a 100% markup. Up to you whether you think that's worth it. stay safe. This is probably about the most material or most parts we've had in a long time, though. And once you build your base, like, what else are you really going to use your materials for? Maybe there's a few crafts you do. But then we destroyed three Plaguards. One of them didn't go quite like I had hoped it would. I'm not sure what, what, what went wrong there. But the conditions were hard to tell due to the Plaguard being in a really tight room. But overall, the death of three Plague Hearts very efficiently. Huge amount of influence. Better spend your influence. Like, don't save up that influence unless it's the weekend and you're saving up for a wandering trader. Just spend that influence because you just get so much of it in nightmare mode. I think the trader leader is definitely going to have a big advantage there. Although you don't get the sniper coverage. The sniper coverage definitely proving itself here. But... If you learned something, tell me about it down in the comments. If you've got more suggestions, tell me about it down in the comments. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for the continuation of the Nightmare series, State of K2. And remember that you don't have to be good to get good.